What's up, true art believers? Welcome to another art vlog. I'm gonna be working on this little this little guy right here. Um, it's an anatomy drawing or an anatomy anatomy study from George Bridgman's Constructive Anatomy book, and I am just going to overlap it with a blue pen. Um, and I might talk about what I'm drawing or I might not. I don't know, man. Don't know. Um, anyways, man, uh, I didn't do my video yesterday. I didn't do a live stream yesterday. I didn't do a lot of anything yesterday. What day was it yesterday? It was Monday. Monday was a busy, not, well, it wasn't a busy day. Uh, Monday is my like official day off, I guess, or one of my days off. And, um, I decided to go see the, the, uh, the, uh, Marvel, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine movie. And so that's what I did instead of going to, uh, instead of doing this, instead of doing that, uh, doing something else or instead of drawing, uh, I mean, uh, I decided to go, uh, treat myself. No, uh, go see a movie. Um, I enjoyed it quite thoroughly, man. Uh, it was a fun, fun movie. I think it was, um, at the very beginning, it felt like too much action, but like, um, spoiler alert. If you don't know this already, uh, Cassandra Nova is the villain of, of that movie, and I wasn't familiar with Cassandra Nova, um, it's a, I think he, she's a relatively new character in the MCU, or Marvel, Marvel, in Marvel, in general, the Marvel comics, um, but, like, it got me thinking, it got me thinking a little bit, I might talk about this in more de in depth another time, but when I was, like, I, I, I have a, I have a weird pet peeve of, like, overpowered characters like they just have they're like invincible there's no they have no weak points they they just have they're just invincible they have all these powers and what i mean by that is like i have this weird weird pet peeve about characters that literally have everything they have every power right like they don't have they have super strength they can or they're invulnerable they can lift things with their mind um you know, they, they, they like every power that you think they have it. Like you know, and it remind me when I when we were like when I was a kid. I don't know if, about you, but when I was a kid, we would you know like play play superhero or play uh, cops and robbers or play super powered characters or whatever. You know, like pretend. And there was always that one kid, or maybe it was me. You know, that would always have every power to to negate someone else's power. Right? Like oh, like. I put you in a force field. Well, that doesn't hurt. I'm 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 invincible to for force fields. I can walk through. I become invincible or invisible, and I can walk through force fields. Or like I threw a, a, a I threw a projectile at you, or like an energy bolt, or whatever it is. Is your kid, whatever you're doing, and you're like, oh well, I'm 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 as hard as steel, or I'm I'm invincible. You can't damage me. I like Superman, like, and I can fly, and I can do all these other all these other things. Um, or like I did a mind attack, I, I did like a, a Professor X mind attack on you and you're like, well, um, you can't, you can't beat me because I'm impervious to mind attacks. Like, and that's what Cassandra Nova feels like to me. He's like, uh, she's, she's, uh, 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 uh like a telekinetic, telekinetic, but also guess what? Wait, there's more. She's literally invulnerable. Like she can regenerate her body like wait uh, and I, it reminds me of, like these characters in marvel or in dc like they just have all these powers it used like you know it used to be like it felt like a character that made what made them interesting is they had like one power you know like cyclops has optic blast he can shoot a powerful concussive blast out of his eye he doesn't have any other power that's it wolverine has claws and basically can regenerate. Um, that's like two powers, but you know, it's it's not like crazy enough, you know. Um, uh, who's that other character? Well, there's one character who uh, um, Kitty Pride. She can go through walls. Uh, um, was it Miss 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 Fantastic or Wonder Woman? No, that's 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 DC. Um, invisible woman, she becomes invisible. She can make invisible fields. Mr. Fantastic, he's very stretchy and he's very intelligent. But like, there, it feels like all these other characters now, they just have everything. They, they can use, they're invulnerable. They have optic blasts. They have, they can, they can, they have super strength. They have the ability to turn into ice. 
I'm like, man, what, what, make up your mind, man. Pick a, pick a power and go with it. Pick a power and go with it. Um, anyways, I'm doing very little drawing here. I'm more so talking about this darn movie. Oh, uh, man. But let me tell you, it, 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 it drives me bananas, man. I always, it, not bananas, but it, it, it's just like, what, what's going on here? Pick a power and, and go with it. But like, it feels like a lot of characters these days just have all the powers, you know? That's one of the reasons why I probably didn't like Superman so much because he was basically, what's, what's the point of him being a comic? He's literally, he, nothing harms him. And then every time they would be like, well, he, you can, you can use, you can use, um, you can use, um, kryptonite and that will hurt him. Yeah, but really does it hurt him? He just kind of gets, he just kind of gets sleepy, you know, he, little, he gets a little weak and then there's always a way for him to get out of that uh, uh, predicament. I'm getting kind of lost with what's happening here. You know, it just feels weird, man. Anyways, I'm kind of ranting about a, a fictional character and how I feel like they just keep and like this give this give person let's just give this person a bunch of powers, you know. Um, anyways, let's just give let's just give powers to everyone. Like what if it'd be like Magneto? Is like oh, not only is Magneto uh, uh, has the ability to to uh, control metal. He is as strong as the Hulk. He is as fast as the Quicksilver. As Quicksilver, he has his his telepathic powers are as powerful as pa Professor X. You know, it's like like this is give him everything. You know, let's just give this character everything. Why not? Yeah. So that makes it, it just makes it very uninteresting as a as a as a character. Um. But anyway, is this is this something a little pet peeve of mine? It just reminds me, kind of reminds me of that old South Park episode where, um, uh, um, I think they were pretending to be ninjas, and every every time, Car uh, like every time uh, someone did something, Cartman would negate it, saying he had like this special power to kind of that would uh, nullify their their abilities. And he's like, this is not fair, you know. You just kind of you just kind of like make up powers as you go. Anyways. And it's and it's kind of funny because that's how like I remember when I was a kid we would do we would do something like that. oh no you can't you know like uh it's just weird why why write a character that's literally in, invulnerable you know but it's it's they they make good writing out of it eventually though but it's kind of weird that the a weird thing for me to, to kind of observe I always I always I didn't really like that I really like like characters that had like a gazillion different powers and it just felt like a, as a kid it felt like a cheap thing to do you know it just felt like a cheap thing to do and uh and um yeah and it still is today in my opinion it's just like a, a cheap thing to do and i think they should they could be better but then again like what was it scarlet witch is uh, um, the, the, like sh her power is kind of not defined, you know, basically it sounds like she can do anything. She can break mat. She can destroy matter. She has, I guess, ability to absorb, absorb energy. I don't know. Like it doesn't make any sense. Like they, they have these characters that there's no, clear defined power level or what they do what they can do like it's just it's just whatever the writers want that character to do at that time uh, uh let's do it you know and i guess that's if that's what you want to do go ahead go ahead um honestly right here i'm very confused i didn't this right here is supposed to be what is it the extensor osis it's a muscle uh, anyways, I'm going way, way past my, my time frame. I kind of ranted about superhero powers, and I barely got anything done. I got to get going. I hope you have a wonderful day. Cheers.